Hi there and welcome to today's product video. I went on Amazon and I ordered a power bar as I needed more space to plug in some stuff. Now there's many power bars out there but I wanted to show you this one. So let's go ahead and unbox this product and check it out. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and click the subscribe button and be sure to click the notification bell to be notified for all videos. I do many things on this channel from product reviews, travel, cooking, and crafts. This video was not sponsored. It's just a product I come across and I want to share it with you. So when I first opened the box, I noticed that the power bar was not the color that I was expecting, but I quickly looked inside and it was the one that I wanted. Anyways, this power bar has 14 outlets, four USB port chargers, and a six foot extension cord that is located on the bottom of the power bar. That's the other thing I like about this power bar is you can pull out as much cord as you need. The rest of the cord stays inside the power bar. Not only that, but it has individual switches. It's like each row is its own power bar. And it also has a handle on the top. This product also had a four and a half star rating on it. So here you can see every level has its own power bar button. So you have easy control for each level to also protect appliances and save power. And on the bottom, there is a reset button. Here's the information for input and max output. It also has four little grip pads. And if you look close into the holes, this is where the cord is all wrapped up, nicely storing the extra cord you don't need out on your floor. So if you need more cord pulled out, just turn the handle or just hold the base and pull. If you pulled out too much cord, just turn the handle the other way and it will bring it back in. I personally think it's a cool power bar. So if you want to stick around a little longer, I will show you my old power bar, how I hook everything up, and we'll see if it works. So depending where you plug in your stuff, this is like a power bar. So when you click on the button, the red light will appear. And when the red light's on, that power bar will work. When it's off, it won't work. So I'm gonna show you the difference between this power bar. I'm glad it has a long cord, but then it just sits there. I don't have enough plugins to plug in my computer, my laptop, you know, all the devices I need for in my office, as I only have this one plug. So by using this power tower that has many different outlets on both sides, and it rotates around, so the power cord, if you don't need as much power cord, I mean, you can shorten it up so it's not in your way. You can have it as short or long as you need it. So I'm gonna plug in what I need to be plugged in for my computer and we'll see how it works. So first off, I am going to turn off the power bar and then I'm gonna go and unplug the power bar. Now, I'm going to pull in the mount out that I think I would need and then I'm gonna plug in this power station, power bar. Let's move this other one kind of out of the way. I have my, this cord would be my laptop. So I'm going to plug it into the first outlet. The second one is my computer. Oh, it's very firm. So the computer I'm going to plug into next. There's four plugins. Oh, that's very stiff. Whew. When you turn this button on, it 
puts on this first, um, the first row of plugins. Okay. And okay. So then the second, I have two storage desktop storage things. So these are the bigger, bigger plugs. So I'm going to put one into the bottom one because that one's going to be plugged or turned on. And then I'll put this big plug on this side, also on the bottom. So I have everything plugged into this um, new power tower. I'm going to see now if it, everything turns on that needs to be turned on. So by pushing this, we'll see if the power starts. And it does, it works, perfect. So I'm also gonna turn on this one. It should start up my other boxes. And you can tell when it's on when you see the red lights. So then these two power power bars are working on this level. If you need other stuff to plug in, you can plug it up here. Now, one other thing I'm going to add on that I didn't have before was just some um, just some LED lights. And it has this type of plug. It has this type of plug, which they have provided four plugs. So I'm going to plug this into one of them and I'll show you if it's working or not. There we go. We have power. Cool. Just turn that off. Power bar so far has been very nice to own. There even there's even a light right there. That's pretty neat. Telling you there's power to that unit. Now I'm able to also plug in a little lamp and a Google Home. So if you are interested in purchasing this power tower, this is just what I called it. It's a, well, it's called a vertical multi-socket power protector. I can leave a link down below if you'd like to purchase one of these. Again, I purchased it off of Amazon. I've had it now for a bit and it still is running great. I have had no problems with it. So the benefit about having this power bar is that you have a lot of plugins. As we live in a older home that has very little plugins. And with today's technology, a person needs a lot to plug in. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to leave a comment if you've tried this product, please do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.